Revenge Films. My name is Ashley, 31 years old. I work full time at a food products company, and I'm a single woman living alone. One year ago, I lost my parents in a traffic accident. While my parents were on their way home from grocery shopping, a truck driver fell asleep at the wheel and crashed into them. They both died instantly. My little brother Henry was still a college student at the time, but luckily our parents had a high-value life insurance plan, and he was able to graduate college without any worries. This is about that brother Henry. He just recently got married. His partner was Emily, who was eight years older than him. She had a competitive and straightforward personality, and seemed like a big sister more than a wife. However, to be honest, I couldn't sincerely accept this marriage. That was because at the time Emily already had a child. She was quite a few years older than him, and I was worried that maybe he was being taken for a fool. In the back of my mind, that's how I felt. But well, this was the person that Henry chose, so I wasn't able to say much against his wishes. I was wondering if he was okay when one day I suddenly got a phone call from Emily. Hello, it's been a while. What's the matter all of a sudden? Oh, it's not that big of a deal, but it's almost Stephen's birthday that's coming up. Stephen and Emily's child from her previous partner, and if I remember correctly, he was ten years old. For his birthday present, Stephen said that there is something in particular that he wants. So I thought that I should inform you in advance. What? I couldn't help but be so confused. It had only been about one month since they got married, and yet she had some nerve to suddenly demand a specific birthday present for her son. However, at the time, I wasn't going to get angry about something like this. So, oh, is that so? Well then, what is it that he wants? I asked, but her response was, "It's a little bit hard to explain, so I'll send you a message about it later." And then she hung up on me. I felt a little bit of stress from Emily's interaction that day, but then when I saw the message she sent me that evening, I instantly raised my voice. What? What? What is this? This is supposed to be a birthday present for a ten-year-old boy, right? To my disbelief, the birthday present written in the message was a luxury brand purse and perfume. Not only that, but she had even designated the size and the color. No matter how you look at it, it was clear that this wasn't for her child, but rather her own use. I couldn't accept this, so I decided to buy some easy toys and clothes for Stephen. Emily must have been really upset that her expectations weren't met, and she was in a bad mood from start to finish. And then, at the time, oh, even though you have money, I couldn't ignore that she muttered that under her breath. At this rate, I didn't know what the future might hold, and I was getting more worried. But surprisingly, Emily was quiet after that. She was building a good relationship with me, and she was becoming such a good person that the indecency of Stephen's birthday almost seemed like a lie. I was just starting to think that if things were like this, then maybe we could get along well as a family. But then, suddenly one day out of nowhere. Emily called me in a furious rage. Ashley, can you believe this? Henry was having an affair. I'll never forgive him. We're getting a divorce. As soon as I answered the phone, she immediately started yelling like this, and I couldn't keep up with what was going on. But according to Emily, recently Henry was apparently having an affair with one of his colleagues from work. According to Emily, she had already secured the evidence and said that she had already discussed a divorce with Henry. That alone was enough to shock me, but Emily's next words made me doubt my own ears. Ashley, you have quite a lot of money from your parents' life insurance, don't you? You need to give Henry the inheritance. Huh? Oh, oh, what? Where is this coming from? The amount that Henry got. We spent almost all of it when we built the house, so he doesn't have any money left. So you're going to transfer all of the rights of the inheritance to Henry, and then that's going to be included in the separation of assets. First of all, I didn't even know if it was true or not that Henry was actually having an affair. Even if I gave her a benefit of the doubt, 
and that were to be true, why should I do that for her anyway? For the time being, I just randomly tried to please her and hung up, and afterwards, I confirmed directly with Henry. The whole thing about the affair was just Emily's misunderstanding. He said that he just happened to be working late one day, and he went out to eat with some of his colleagues, and that's it. That there was nothing shady going on. I knew it didn't just add up. I wasn't able to trust Emily anymore, so even though I felt a little guilty about it, I decided to go to a detective agency and had them launch an investigation on Emily. I thought I was just making a request to see if she had perhaps caused any marriage scams in the past before, but... About the woman that you've requested an investigation on. What? So you're not budging on your decision to get a divorce, right? Of course not. I can't trust Henry at all anymore. And are you sure you're okay with that? Yeah, but... Ashley? I don't have any money. So are you going to transfer the inheritance to me? I guess I have no choice, so here. I signed for the assets that I'll be passing on to you. As she looked at the paper that I handed over, Emily started to breathe heavily. That's because it was a quite a large sum of money, so I don't blame her for getting excited. You don't have any complaints with this, do you? That's right. Well then, here. Once she finally confirmed the papers, she handed over the divorce papers that she had already filled in, as though she had no business with us anymore. Uh... You need to just accept this and back down, Henry. Also, Emily, will you please sign this? What is this? This is a contract that you're not going to chase after us any further in regards to this incident. I'm going to give the rights to the inheritance to Henry, and Henry is going to go through the separation of assets as demanded by the law. You're okay with that, right? All right, sure. That's fine. For better or worse, we will be doing everything in accordance with the law. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Well then, make sure you turn in the divorce papers. After she said that, Emily didn't look back once at us as she hurried out of the cafe. She then went straight to a luxury hotel to reserve a room, and apparently she gathered her belongings to move in there. It goes without saying that Henry and I high-fived each other and celebrated together. Not long after that, Henry transferred the amount of the separation of assets into Emily's bank account, and we immediately got a phone call. Hey, what the hell is this about? The amount is way too little! Henry and I were desperately trying to hold in our laughter. Huh? What are you saying? That's the correct amount! There's no way that's true! There should be an amount for the inheritance! Then that was when Henry unleashed it on her. Listen, have you ever heard of unique assets? Unique? What? Look, a separation of assets doesn't mean that all of the assets that one has are going to be split evenly down the middle, you know? The only thing that gets separated is the shared assets. What? Sh shared? Huh? That means the assets that we shared together as a married couple. But since I wasn't married to you for very long, we don't have much of anything like that anyway. The inheritance that I received from my sister has nothing to do with you, so that doesn't get included in the separation of assets. Huh? What? Unique? What? Shared? What? It seems that we had completely gone over Emily's brain capacity, and that was when I took over the phone. Oh my, for having been the one to think of something like this, looks like you haven't studied enough. Well, I'm sure you'll hear more about the details from our lawyer eventually. So why don't you ask him then? What? Oh, wait, what? Lawyer? I have plenty of evidence of your affair, so you'll be getting sued and paying a settlement fee. What? What? And so Henry and I beautifully shattered Emily's plan, and instead we made sure to collect a full settlement fee from her. For the record, Emily was counting on getting Henry's assets, and she had now been staying at a luxury hotel for countless days and unable to pay it, so she was taken out by the police. Not only that, but right after that, she was sued by her former husband, and she was given a double whammy of adultery and slander. Of course, there is no way she would be able to pay off that amount of money, so apparently she's working a construction day by day, and the night life by night, and she's at her wit's end. Hey! Change this girl! She reeks of sweat! 
Yes, sir. We're very sorry. It's you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.